this little sucker right here. Everybody ready? Yep. <clears throat> Stockmar, traffic sling one off the mic, departing 28 Stockmar. And we have a liftoff. That's right. to the right. I the did. mountains. You way off? Oh yeah, yeah it's so I clear. Know. So clear. Yeah, cold front came through, cleaned everything up. Pretty warm, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. the uh, radiator in the winter to warm up the oil temperature because it takes uh, it it actually runs too cold in the winter but I may mean, put too much tape on it it might be uh, so I'm just pulling the power back okay is that a problem I mean I may have to just land and take that tape off okay Put tape off. The tape on the radiator and then put it on there. So I feel like I should give a little more explanation here. Uh, Rotex engines, for those who aren't familiar, have an oil cooler and a radiator, as shown here. Uh, and the oil cooler obviously cools the oil, and the radiator cools the coolant, which helps keeps the cylinder heads cool. Well, uh, these are quite effective in the summer, but uh, in the winter, they work so well that the oil temperature has a hard time, or it takes a, a long time, to warm up to the minimum oil temperature required for takeoff. So what a lot of Rotex owners do in the winter is they put some tape over the radiator and oil cooler as shown here. Uh, and I did a lot of this, you know, out west uh, doing my phase one flying in the winter. You know, then I flew it home to the southeast, and uh, by then it was coming up on spring, took the tape off, flew it all spring and summer and fall. And this was our first winter, cold, cold day winter flight in the southeast. So I taped up the radiator and oil cooler. Well, it's not quite as cool down here in the southeast as it is out west. Uh, and so I overdid it. I put a little too much tape. Didn't need quite as much as, as is shown here. So uh, what happened is the oil temperature started, you know, creeping up to the you know, max oil temperature. You know, the only way to reduce it was to pull the power back to a, a very low power setting. So that wasn't going to work to get us where we needed to go. So I decided to divert into another airport and uh, take off the tape and press on. So that's what we did.
Tower, helicopter four five. David, can you see Disney World over on the right? Somewhere over there. Oh, here's the globe. In front of the wing is the uh, Epcot globe. I still can't see it. Right into the sun. Yeah. Blinding. Mike, I see you on my right arm now, sir. Just center left down with the runway six from Fort Midfield. Okay, join left down with uh, runway six for Fort Midfield. Left down with one up, Mike. Gusty winds today, not tree related. No gust right there. Mike, where are you parking? Odyssey. Now, uh, Mike, left turn and delta ground point seven. Left turn delta point seven, one off the mic. See me ground, November nine, one off the mic, clear of six, going to Odyssey. Nine, one off the mic, see me ground, taxi straight ahead on uh, delta to Odyssey. Delta to Odyssey, one off the mic.
Thank you. Nice job. I think I forgot to turn on the wingtip camera. I don't know. Congratulations.